<laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof. Double barrel? Barrel, barrel. Double barrel proof. We're going to test it. Let's test it. We got first of all, what number we got? 204. I'm gonna pour now, this is barrel single barrel barrel proof, not like my brother Daryl and his other brother Daryl or my cousin. Was it I think it's like Darryl? a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, it's my, my cousin, my yeah. cousin Daryl and his other and his brother and his other and his Darryl. brother Daryl. Daryl and Daryl. Daryl and Daryl. Yeah, barrel and barrel. Barrel single, and barrel. Jack Daniels single, single barrel, barrel barrel proof, barrel proof. which yeah. means this is a bottle from one barrel. What's That's the right. ABV? 65.5 percent whopping slap your mama that's how strong that is now, now as i pour what go no, ahead uh, i was gonna say um it does not have the jack daniels number seven right. single barrel barrel just jack daniels single barrel barrel proof i'll pour this if you want to do the scotch oh, shout out gotcha good call yeah uh all right going back to the thomas h handy sazerac mm. btac review Jerry Bartlett commented, agree with you both completely on supporting small local distilleries. All right, hold on. First of all, I'm loving Jerry. He's yes. agreeing with both of us, not just a little bit. That doesn't happen very often. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Agree with you both yeah. completely. Yeah, complete. Both of us completely. You well, know, and you okay there? We had yeah, a little burp. I <laughs> yeah, suppressed it for you. That was. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. I'm topping. Apparently we had talked about small distilleries and supporting them and paying. What? So what is he new. saying? I cut off. But anyway, I cut off. Uh, he agrees with us both completely on supporting the small local distilleries. Good. That being said, they do need to be a bit mindful of the dollars they are trying to get from us. Sure. If any of you are paying attention, keep the price reasonable. It will pay off in the long run. First yeah. of all, they're all paying attention. Well, That's the dummies. Yes. I would like to say I do remember that's in reference to the Black Maple Hills bourbon. It is. When we did it. $90. $90. Oregon whiskey. Yeah. A little high. So A lot of people hating on it. Now that we'll talk about kind of the, when, when we get to is this worth it, let's talk about that a little bit more on the smoke okay. source. We will. We'll get to this if it's worth it. So it's a single barrel barrel proof. I think they should just break down and call it double barrel. That'd be a good one. Yeah, it'd be like the shotgun. Jack Daniels, double, Jack Daniels 12 gauge, double, double barrel. barrel. The 12 gauge, yeah, you got it. That's it. J JD yeah, 12 gauge they, they, double barrel. Yes. Right there. Once again, the dummies are giving advice. Golden. <laughs> you can use that. Jack yeah. Daniels. You can use it. We we Ooh. don't have it. We don't own it. What do you got on the nose? Let me be the first wow. to say that at 65.5%. Strong. It, it, well, it doesn't show on the nose, though. It's still... It doesn't... You, you don't think it's 65% when you nose it. Okay, my eyes aren't watering, but it, it's powerful. It doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't reach up there and slap you in the face like some do that are that high. You can get in on this pretty good. Now, I get a rich caramel, okay, a rich I, I, cinnamon. I get that charcoal. Okay, yeah. The maple. Yep. Yep, I get a uh, burnt... Well, burnt caramel with a cinnamon. Feels a little bit Christmassy. Sorry, smells a little bit Christmassy. Sweetness, and you're right, that maple wood is laying in there, just laying there. I don't think I said maple wood, you said maple wood. Okay, then I'm right. <laughs> I think you're right. Thank you. I agree with you 100%. Uh, great color to it as well. This is a very rich color. I don't know, there's not an age on it. I wish we knew how old this was. Hmm. I'm good. gonna guess seven to nine years. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not even that long. Mmm. Mmm. I guess you're, I'm taking that as a good sign. That is very good. Rich. Strong. Boy, does that high ABV make itself known. I am going to bring mm. this down with some water. Mmm. But very flavorful. Neat. Yeah. Wow. Yes. It's almost an Elijah Craig Wow barrel proof. Yep. But not quite. But just barely below it. Yeah. Very rich. Just go ahead. Sorry. A notch or two below the Elijah Craig mm, barrel proof. Delicious. The second you put that in your mouth, it starts to take over your taste buds Bingo. and everything. 
to, with a velvety now some i've told you it's like a liquid metal move and you've seen in the special effects movie it's more like a velvety movement though in the mouth mm. smooth it's rich it's full that charcoal filtering comes through i've got that it's very quick on the palate in other words that you put it in your mouth and it's just it's yes. saturating everything on its own right and then i also have did this just burn the roof of my mouth <laughs> You wrote that down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like questioning yourself. It's like a note to self. Like, hmm. Did this burn the roof of my mouth? Hmm. I, I like the way you have. treat yourself with questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it, it's a mouth full of flavor. Mm. Um, Boy, that nose is still, I've added a couple hefty drops of water. The nose is just still rich, rich, mapley. Maybe maples are wrong because it's not like a maple syrup. It's more of a uh, an oaky mapleness. <sighs> Delicious. Just begs you to just nose it for hours. Wow. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. The cinnamon, vanilla, some of the standard bourbon notes. As we know, a Tennessee or the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey abides by the bourbon rules Except, and then and then it's add charcoal filtering right the slow trickle is what i call it where they just they they do a final filtration through charred maple right mm -hmm. yeah and that Slowly makes tennessee that's tennessee right. whiskey that's what makes it the tennessee kind of style and i think it made and aged in tennessee right on top of that that's, i'm sure that's part of the rule if not, comment and let us know. They need a Kansas whiskey that's all based on wheat. Mm. Well, what's a wheat state? Kansas. I know, but is it all wheat? Oh, you mean wheat state, the actual distillery? Yeah. No, it's not, but that's all right. Is it a bourbon? I don't remember. I know we've done it. It is. Or is it a whiskey? It's a bourbon. It's a, it's a wheat. Okay. All right, so this. Whew. Add water yeah. and a couple of dollops of water because of that 65%, which right. it's drinkable at 65%. It is more than drinkable. If I want to enjoy it, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Right. Well, what I love about a high ABV, especially this high, is that I can try it neat and then I play with it. I bring it down and I, I figure out where I want it to sit. If I had to guess, I'm bringing this down to about 50, mm -hmm. 51, 49. Um, but I just love the ability. What I love about the high ABV is the ability to bring it down to where my palate likes it best. This, wow, sweet, yeah. musky. I don't have that water added anything. It is for me. But it, I mean, it, it, all those same flavors that are there at the barrel proof, neat, all those flavors are still there. It's just a little bit more, a little less burn, a little bit more palatable. So it's still very pal palatable for me, but it opens it up a little bit. Didn't we have like several fa fans tell us you have to go get this? Yeah. Well, a couple had asked, hey, have you guys had this? You need to get this. Can you Please try review this. The fact is, just since we'd picked, since I'd picked it up, it'd been sitting here. I'm like, we've got it. It's waiting review. Right. And I had seen this originally probably about a year ago, and I passed on it at the store. And when I went back to get it, it was gone. And then just a couple of months, two or three months ago, it showed back up. Wow. Um, so I picked it up without hesitation, and I'm glad I did. Good. Did you mention uh, coin number? 204. 204. I think so. Very I think good. I did that right. first. Well, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I mean, we've had the old number seven, which still surprises me to this day. A lot of some guys kind of mock me going, oh, come on, come on. I'm like, no, no, no. Uh, just uh, the old number seven's good. This is fabulous. I'm scoring this. This is a 91 for me. Hmm. Right there, close to mine. I got 92. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just noticed, drag the lamp in a little bit. We turned mm -hmm. the lamp on for this episode, and it's just off screen. There we go. It's courtesy Scotch Trooper. Scotch Trooper. This is our 100th. This is the bottle the from bottle. our 100th episode, the yep. Kaoila. We had Kaoila at our very first episode, and then we redid it at our 100th. Mm -hmm. And uh, Scotch Trooper made that into a lamp for us. Um, anyways, okay, so in 92, now, is it worth it? Oh. How much? I'm just telling you, yes, but I'm figuring $90 oh, is no. what I'm guessing. Higher. No. Get out of here. It's lower than $90? $55. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. No. 
I would have paid 50 90 bucks. for this. And I think wow. the, I think I think it's you know sixty dollars. I think the first time I saw it was sixty dollars. There. Well, the fact is, I think when I bought this, and if you watch your liquor store, sometimes they have um, if it's not on sale on certain days, you get ten percent off. It might have been the ten. It might have been wow. sixty bucks, and then I got the ten percent off because it was wasn't on sale. Still on the bucks. finish. I'm getting a caramel. Dare I say? The burnt caramel that goes on a flan. Mm. <laughs> flan mm. hasn't come up in a while, mm -hmm. but that's what I'm getting here. I can't believe fifty-five dollars because well, uh, no, don't jack it up, Jack. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to the original comment about the new distilleries that are starting up, and they're charging you know want to charge exorbitant prices for mm -hmm. a bottle for a new bottle of whiskey. Mm -hmm. And here's a good example of a of a big boy. Jack Daniels, huge number one, pumping out a great product, right, at a very reasonable price, right. Well, let's 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 give credit where credit's due. But high volume, I'm sure there's maximum high volume here, but also high quality, and on top of that, high value. Yeah, that's unbelievable. That's a nice trifecta. This is what the big boys need to do. Mm -hmm. Jack Daniels is huge. It sells globally. I think at last I read, they're the biggest. American whiskey seller in America. But way to go to bring out something that's this high quality, this well priced, and at such a volume. I mean, just, um, I think you're, you're hitting on all cylinders here, and uh, it's no wonder the smaller guys have a hard time keeping up because at such a high volume, this is very high quality. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I, with the prices and the way they're going lately, I was sure this would be 90-ish. Just at that high ABV alone. 55, 60 bucks. They better have more on stock. I'm calling. <laughs> the second this thing hits stop, now, I'm on the phone. I would point out, this is probably still, it's it's up there. It's pretty darn close to the Elijah Craig mm -hmm. Barrel Proof, mm -hmm. I think, in quality. Mm -hmm. um, I think where the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof gets it is in the age statement. And Elijah Craig Cold Barrel years. Proof still comes with the 12 year age statement. Yeah, Elijah Craig, keep that I, going. I'm gonna guess this is seven to years. eight, nine I've, years at the most. I have no idea, but it Boy, tastes phenomenal. Would, Jack Daniels, age this 12 years, <laughs> call it the 12, number 12, the 12 gauge the double 12 barrel. 12 gauge double barrel. Double although, barrel, barrel proof. Although I get nervous, if you go that long, I do think this could end up over, over oaked. Nah. It's delicious where it's at. I wish I knew where it was. It doesn't say anywhere in marketing how old it is. Not on the bottle anyway. Wow. Look at the, grab the box. Does it say? Hold on. And this is uh, the usual Jack Daniels. If you buy the single barrel or even the single barrel rye, it comes in a real nice little box. Limited uh, quantities. Box. So, so does this one. Pure taste experience. And fact is, I had probably seen this because the box looks just like the Jack Daniels right. single barrel. Yeah. But if you pay attention, you're going to see single barrel, barrel proof. Barrel proof. And that's, those, where, it's, that's where it's at. Those who appreciate Bam. pure taste experience, yes. It's very limited in quantities. Notes of sweet brown, brown sugar, sugar. i got to admit, that give way to rich toasted oak and hints of dark spice, best savored neat or with a few cubes of ice. I've not tried it with the ice. I'm on the phone as soon as we hit stop. <laughs> wow. Wow. I like it. It's worth it. So is it worth it? Heck yeah, it's worth it. At yeah. 55, it's a steel, double barrel, barrel proof. Wow. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Just a moment of bliss right there. Moment of bliss just occurred. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. Dummies.